everybody. Welcome to another episode of Laugh, Laugh, Laugh is Funny Cause It's True. This set of jokes, P-S-T-S. Well, hark, Renee, what does that stand for? Please stop that shit. Let's get into it. There are certain people, there are certain places, and there are certain things we just need to fucking stop. Like speaking to me. Bitch, I don't even like you. Why are you speaking to me? Not because it's polite, not because it's common courtesy. I don't fuck with you. You know, like high school reunions. I didn't like you then. And they made me go to school. I'm going to pay to go somewhere and be around some motherfuckers I didn't like. No way. What? I'm not going to do that. Uh-uh. If I fuck with you, I love you till the day I die. But if I didn't fuck with you, I am not finna be phony. Don't be at my funeral crying over me like we cool. Cause my best friend gonna be looking at you sad. I like, bitch, she didn't even like you. She didn't remember you and she probably didn't even know you. And if you had ever spoken to her, you would know that cause she wouldn't have spoke that. I was in high school and I physically told somebody, go buy a friend. I must have been 14 years old. Who says that? Me. I was telling motherfuckers to PSTS then. Please stop that shit. Please stop. Stop. Okay. Quit speaking to people you know you don't like and don't like you. Stop it. And quit going to church acting like that's your seat. Did you pay for the pew? Don't do that shit no more. <sighs> and quit getting in front of me going to so. Don't get in front of me if you're not going to drive faster than me. Okay? P.S.T.S. Please stop that shit. Stop it. Stop going to Walmart acting like you didn't know you didn't have but $50 in your account and you have $475 worth of food in your buggy. Stop that shit. Please. And then you standing in the line trying to put shit back. Bitch, you need to put the whole cart back. You'd have been more productive if you'd have just stayed at home. Please stop that shit. Stop. Supervisors who are unqualified, quit acting like you know what you're doing and give your people that you supervise them some respect, please, okay? And if you want to call center and you a supervisor, if you ain't going to take the motherfucking call, quit the motherfucking job, okay? Stop. If you a supervisor and you be ducking and dodging and ducking and dodging, do you be ducking and dodging on payday? Well, then, bitch, don't be ducking and dodging when it's work to do, bitch. Please stop that shit. Just cut it the fuck out. Stop acting like you didn't know your child's dumb. Bitch, you dumb. You sitting up here in the parent-teacher conference this child. You ain't seen this motherfucker come home and do homework the whole part of the first part of the year. Now you shocked this nigga got Z's on his report card and don't even know the Z is the last letter of the alphabet that he don't even know A is the first part of. Please stop that shit. Please. Please. Stop. I'm asking you. Next time I'm just going to cut you the fuck out. I'm trying to be polite. I'm serious. Please stop thinking that a motherfucker know what you're saying when you don't say it. Because they ask not move on with your life. Seriously. Motherfuckers are trying to hold on to the PTO because it's going to be cold outside and the motherfucker ain't trying to drive to work. I don't have to drive. I just have to maybe get the cross out of one eye. I literally go from the bed to the bathroom right over there. And let me tell you something else. This making people go back to work, this hybrid shit, people wait their whole life to be grown. And you really think you finna tell a real grown motherfucker what to do? Please stop that shit. Just stop. Because you're going to fuck around and find out. Okay. 
Just stop. Stop doing dumb shit. Okay. Let, I, I'm finna say something. And uh, folk might not like it. It's gonna be funny. And it's gonna be true. I'm about to go out on the... Okay. Okay. I can only control me. Let me make this about me because this show and this channel is about me. Okay. Um. Uh, nope. Not. Mm -mm, no. So anyway, just stop doing shit. Then just, please, stop that shit. Just stop. Just, oh, I'm trying to save a life today. Stop. Monday when you, I, I, I know I'm all like this. All the time. I am. I wake up like this. Okay. And I understand that people don't wake up like I get it. I get it. But let me tell you something. If you have survived and been through the shit that I've been through and still managed to look this motherfucking good, you get up like this too. Do you know the last time I was able to actually get in this shirt and button any of it yet alone? Most of it? That's something to celebrate. And let me tell you something. Else. You shouldn't have to work out and eat right to look good. You should just be able to look good. You shouldn't have to put no work into it. You just shouldn't. Damn it. Fellas, let me tell you something. Else. Fellas, quit using good bitches. Look, I, uh -uh, I need to say it. I'm sorry. I'm not talking to the good niggas out there, the good kings out there, handling their business. I ain't talking to you. You can laugh at the niggas I'm talking about, because that's not you. But I'm fucking sick and tired of good niggas using great bitches. I'm so motherfucking sick of that. Please stop that shit. Because then, when she wants to stop fucking with you and stops fucking with you, now all of a sudden she's brand new. No, she's just, as they said in the Bible, she's just come to her senses. Yeah. Full circle. In other words, I shouldn't have been fucking you in the first place. That was when I fucked up. But in the words of Beyonce, thank God I does the bullet. I'm so over you, baby. Good looking out. Yeah. Paul Abdul been over the Bill Ivy house. Ain't she? Okay, okay. I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. I fuck it. I'm grown. I don't earn the right. So what the fuck I feel like saying I'm in this motherfucker. And another thing. We need to stop people from being alive sometime. No, I had to fucking say it today. Some niggas need to die. Fuck it. I, I'll say it. It's true. Some people that's dead should still be alive, and some people alive should be dead. Been dead. You want me to get names? Okay. Trump, that nigga need to be good and gone. Pop, gone, Trump here. There's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that. It's really something wrong with that. It's something wrong with that. No, it's really something wrong with that. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Trayvon Martin, gone. But the motherfucker that killed him is walking around somewhere probably smoking a the blunt. There's something wrong with that. It really motherfucking is. It really is. It numbs. It really is. You know, some motherfuckers just, I feel, shouldn't be dead. Like Luther. He should still be here making good music. Because what they're making now is not good and it's not music. I'm serious. I'm sorry. Some people should just be dead. I'm sorry. Some people would be more sufficient like this than a lot. Like Chadwick, he should still be here. And then maybe they wouldn't still be making this shit they making, trying to pass it off as a movie plot. The fuck is that shit? Damn. Bruce Willis shouldn't be sick. Trump should be sick. I said it. Fuck you won't do to me. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Hell. Some of y'all's bosses need to start coughing a little bit and you feel better. Someone, <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling lightheaded. Bitch, just pass out. Please. 
So I can have a good ending to my day. You know. I'm fucking, are you thinking it? You're like, damn, she said I sure the fuck did. I was just crazy enough to say what the fuck you were thinking. Because half of y'all hope these fuckers don't show up tomorrow anyway. Because you don't need them to do your job. They need you. You don't need them. Hello? It's like a bra. You don't need a bra. The bra needs you for something to do. You're perfectly fine without it. It needs you. You don't need it. And the last, last observation that I'm going to make about please stop that shit is this. Have you ever noticed the racial differences that are made amongst the whitey and the niggas? Let me share with you a quick example. In the hood, what do they call the liquor store? The L. Do you want to know what they call it in the white neighborhood? Wine and spirits. Mm -hmm. I had never seen that shit in my motherfucking life. I said wine and spirits. Spirits like ghosts? Casper? What are you talking about? Please stop that shit. You know, when we say some shit, we wrong. Because they've taken it the wrong way. Because we telling the truth about them. Oh, shit. Let me... True story. I'm going to put my shit all on the YouTube. True story about how shit work. I was at a said job. Okay. Because I... Yeah. And they were having... The racial conversation. Okay, then. How you gonna have a conversation with the bigot? Okay, fan, you might learn something anyway. There was a said person who was a middle-aged white woman who was trying to make a point and she just made an ass out of herself because she was sitting here talking about a time probably back in, oh, I don't know, colonial days. When she dyed her hair some color from the rainbow that wouldn't have become her anyway because even her natural hue was off for her skin job. Yeah. These sisters were really giving relatable and honest commentary about having to chemically alter the natural texture of my hair so that you can feel comfortable looking at me, yet alone being in the same motherfucking room with me. And you want to tell me a story about how you look like one of the strawberries from the Strawberry Patch Kids show or some shit? You want to tell me how you look like Blue's Clues by the head? You want to walk around telling me how you felt like Smurfette because you was the only motherfucker in the whole sea of fucked up? That's not the same thing. I'm in marketing. I'm a nigga, in case you hadn't noticed. And in order for me to step in the room, let's just be real because we're going to be real over here. I can't step in the room the way my hair looked before I sat in Rhonda's chair. Okay, boom, guess who stepped in the room? The truth. Now, can we stop that shit? Oh, no. Because I know how much money I want to make, and I know what I want to do. So am I going to play the game? Yeah. And then when I'm in a position, I'm going to rock my shit and do my shit the way I want to do my shit. And that's not some shit that's going to stop. That's some shit that's just getting started. So I want to thank y'all for watching, and I need you to do something for me. I need the last and final thing to stop. I need you motherfuckers to stop watching me and not hitting the goddamn like. Can we please stop that shit? I need you to hit that shit from the back the way that nigga was hitting that shit from the back that night. Hitting that shit from the back that night. Hit it, just, hit it, just tap it. Just tap it like you do the screen in Walmart when you need your receipt now. Just tap it. Just like that. Just tap that shit. Huh? Tap that shit. Comment that shit. And share that shit. Just like that. It don't cost you nothing. Now, if I was up and tell me, ooh, cash at me, cash at me, shell over that doing bad, it'd be viral, goddammit. But I'm asking you to hit the like, and motherfuckers is like, hark, I can't hear you. Mm.
Please stop that shit. And tomorrow when you go to work and a bitch speak to you that you don't like and it might not like you, in the back of your mind, I want you to just say, please stop this shit. And if you can't say please stop this shit, when you greet her, if you choose to greet her and you are so inclined, I want you to look her in the face and say, P-T-S, I mean, P-S-T-S, and then just move on with your day. She gonna tell you good morning and I want you to look that bitch in the face and go P-S-T-S and keep it moving. That bitch is gonna be shocked and confused the rest of the week. <laughs> I'll see you back at next time. Bye. <laughs> Some of y'all sit next to a motherfucker you wanna say that shit too right now. I know it.